Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Crypt13, and today I want to bring you guys a video on why I stopped farming weekly bosses. Before we get started though, I just want to plug my Twitch and my Discord. The links for all of that are in the description below. I stream three days a week, and the Discord is a great place to talk about Genshin Impact, anime, and just a bunch of other things. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys about why I stopped farming weekly bosses. I should at least clear that up. I haven't completely taken out weekly bosses into my weekly farming rotation. It's just that I now only do three of them per week. Basically just enough to maximize the half resin cost system change that miHoYo made a couple patches ago. The first three weekly bosses that you do will cost half the amount of resin. So at least using that and taking advantage of that is still going to be worth it. But when the weekly boss Bosses cost you 60 resin, there is a point when doing all of them just isn't worth it anymore. So depending on how long you've been playing this game, you definitely should continue farming those weekly bosses. If you're a new player, definitely 100% continue farming those bosses. If you're an old player like me who's been playing since the release of this game, then it might be time to take a break from some of them. The materials that you get here it's really just not worth the 60 resin anymore. It's not worth 60 resin once you've played this game for so long. This golden gem that has a possible drop chance from these weekly bosses is so low that it's not even worth it. And also, if you've been playing since the game's release, you should have plenty of these slivers and fragments so that you can make these. And basically, you really just don't need these to drop. You should have so much that you should have no problem ascending your characters because you can just create them from the crafting bench. So taking a look at the rewards that we get, we get one 5-star artifact, a couple of 4-star artifacts, usually between 3 and 2, and then a couple of 3-star artifacts, usually between 3 and 5. And then in terms of the actual slivers and fragments that you get, this is probably the average that you get. You usually don't get the purple or the gold drops, but you get a bunch of the slivers and a couple of fragments. But like I said, if you've been playing since the game's release, you're going to have so many of these. Just look at how many of these cryo ones that I have. Three of these becomes one of these, and then three of these becomes the purple ones, and then three of those purple ones becomes an orange one. So you really shouldn't have any problems ascending your characters because you're missing this. Now, you might be thinking, but what about the prototypes, the billet drops? That's really important. That's the reason why I farm these weekly bosses. And you know what? That's actually a very good point. For this one, I will totally leave that up to you. However, I will tell you what the supposed drop rate on these things is because there is some crowdsourced information and after aggregating all of that data, it's found that these prototype weapons slash billets, whatever you want to call them, has about a 10 to 12% drop rate. I'm just going to call it 10% for the rest of this video, but that's a very small amount of drop rate. So if you farm all five weekly bosses per week, each time you complete one of those domains, you're going to have a 10% chance to get a billet or prototype drop. 10% is pretty low, but it's not impossible. And of course, over the course of those six runs, your probability to actually get a prototype drop increases more and more. It of course will never reach 100% though, but the more you farm it, the higher likelihood it is that a prototype is going to drop for you. Now, what I'm saying is that the more you farm this, this doesn't actually change the drop rate. That's not what I'm saying, because that's not how probability works. A very common way of thinking is that your previous results are going to change your future results, but this is not true. The prototype drop rate is always going to be 10%. You might be thinking that, oh, I've done weekly bosses for three months without a single drop, so it must be more likely to drop now. But no, that's not true. It's always going to be 10%. But what exactly did I mean that your chances of getting a prototype drop actually increase the more that you farm it? Well, let me try to explain probability. Even though our chance to get a drop is always 10%, if we keep trying, the chance that we will get a drop is going to increase. I get it, it does sound a little bit wrong since I just said that the 10% is never going to change, but we can kind of just take a coin flip for example. Getting heads or tails is always going to be a 50% chance, but if you flip that coin 100 times, you are definitely going to see at least one heads within those 100 tries. The chances that you never see a heads is so low, but of course, 
course, it totally is up to chance and it's possible. And so there's a very simple formula to calculate this kind of probability. That formula is one minus one subtracted by the drop chance to the power of however many runs you are going to be doing. So if we plug in our numbers here with a 10% drop chance and about five runs, you're going to have about a 41% chance to get a prototype drop per week. And so that does seem pretty okay. It's about a little bit less than a coin flip. And if you limit it to just the three based on the half costing opportunities, then you'll have a 27% chance to get a prototype drop every week. So I'll let you decide whether or not you think that's worth the effort. But in my opinion, the only valuable thing that you're getting from spending 60 resin is a chance at a prototype drop because the other materials just isn't worth the 60 resin. Spending the remaining 120 resin on something a little bit more guaranteed, like boss materials for ascension, or maybe even artifacts. Even though artifacts are also a little bit RNG and random, but at least you get a lot more artifact XP from it than than doing weekly bosses so you can level up your current loadouts and wow this is the perfect example within my first three runs i was able to get a gem and a prototype drop this is rng at its finest right here guys and so the second reason why you might want to stop farming weekly bosses is because there's a ceiling for boss material drops. And so what I mean by this is that you only need a certain amount of weekly boss materials in order to level up every character's talents. At a certain point, you're going to have so many of these talent materials that they are just going to go to waste. You pretty much only need enough of these to get your character's talents to level 10. And even level 10 is kind of a stretch because you need crowns for that. So for example, example, there are about 12 characters in the game right now that require the Devalin materials. There's about 9 characters for Child, and for Ajdaha, there's about 7 currently in the game. And then lastly for Senora, there's about 4 characters, but probably 7 once we include Toma, Goro, and Ito into the mix. So we can really quickly do this math. It's going to require 6 weekly boss materials in order to get a talent all the way up to talent level 10. And we have 3 talents that you want to level up to 10, which means it's going to require 18 boss materials in order to fully level a character. If we do that math for Storm Terror, we said that there was about 12 characters. So 12 times 18 equals about 216 weekly boss materials you need if you want to max all of those characters all the way to talent level 10 and for all three of their talent levels. But honestly, that's not very feasible. You probably aren't going to do that for every single character. Most characters, you're probably going to be ignoring their normal attack talent in the first place. And you probably aren't even going to be going to talent level 10 unless your absolute favorite character and if you have enough crowns. So really, you're only going to be going until talent level level 9. So this ends up reducing to about 4 per talent and you're only going to level up 2 talents so this ends up being about 8 per character. This brings that Devalin total down to 96. That's going to be a lot more manageable and you probably won't be leveling every character anyway so that number is even lower. And if I take a look at how many materials that I have right now, I have 20, 20, and 20. So I have about 60 and I clearly have used some of these for some of my characters already. So a lot of this is probably extra that I'm never ever going to use. So that should give you a pretty good idea on what that ceiling for weekly boss drops is. And it also doesn't matter if you get the wrong boss drop because miHoYo added the new dream solvent items. These have a pretty high drop rate as well. I have 30 and this was a pretty recent addition to the game. So even if you happen to have the wrong boss material, you should have no problem converting it into whichever material that you need. So anyway, that's pretty much why I stopped farming weekly bosses. Well, of course not completely stopped, I just do the three that gives me the half resin cost. And you notice that I was able to get a prototype drop and a gem within those three runs. So it's definitely possible, but again, it totally is all just random chance. And if you really are gunning for those prototypes, a 41 versus a 27% chance does seem like a reasonable boost. And so I will leave it up to you guys whether or not you guys think it's worth it to spend that extra 120 resin on the remaining two weekly bosses. Definitely 
leave me a comment down below whether or not you think it's worth it what have you been doing and if you have any other tips for other players as well anyway guys if you made it this far into the video i thank you so much don't forget to leave a like on the video maybe even consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget that links to twitch and discord are in the description down below until next time guys i will see you guys next time